Hey guys, it's Ro, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make slushy slime. If you want to learn how to make this slime, just keep watching. Let's get started on the ingredients. The first thing you will be needing is something to mix with along with something to mix in, some clear glue, any clear glue will work as long as it contains PVA. This is optional, but you can also use some add-ins such as foam beads, colorful fishbowl beads, glitter, and food coloring. The next thing you will be needing is some slime activator. If you are using borax solution, I would recommend using half a teaspoon of borax dissolved in one cup of warm water to minimize your chances of overactivating your slime. And lastly, you will be needing beanbag fillers. These are the most important ingredient while making slushy slime. I just got these at my local craft store, but you can get them online. Now let's get started on this tutorial. The first thing you need to do is pour in your desired amount of glue. You don't want to add too much because the beads will nearly triple the size of your slime. What I'm doing now is just coloring my slime with some food coloring, and to achieve a perfect Coca-Cola color, I discovered that you need to add three drops of red, two drops of green, and two drops of yellow food coloring. Now mix all the colors together until they are all one smooth mixture. This is honestly one of my favorite parts in the whole slime making process because it's really cool how the colors just swirl together. At this point you can go ahead and activate your slime. Remember not to add too much borax because that can cause your slime to get really stiff. You know your slime is ready to knead when it gets really foamy and stringy like this. Your slime should still be really sticky after you knead, so just continue and try not to add any more activator because that again can lead to your slime being too stiff. Now start to add in your filler beads. Don't be afraid to add a lot because you will need more than you think. If your slime still sticks to your fingers, that's probably an indication that you need more filler beads. And just keep on kneading the slime until it's the perfect texture. I am very happy to announce that I will soon be opening a slime shop. I haven't figured out the exact date it will open, but I will be sure to keep you guys updated on my Instagram, so go ahead and follow me there at xxrow underscore mxx. We will also leave the link to it in the description box down below, so you can just click the link and follow us to be updated. Thanks for watching me make slushy slime. We hope you enjoyed. We'll see you all next week. Bye!